Hi everybody, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel video 127. You see I have a pie chart here that shows some zip codes where I'm getting uh, new patients from over the course of some time period. And you'll see that I've already changed my chart title to a conclusion rather than just you know new patients by zip code or something like that. What I want to emphasize here is we're starting to get new patients from this new zip code, 50021. And you can see here it is on my pie chart. Let me show you how to explode is Excel's word, how to explode this pie out and make this slice more obvious. What you can do is, well, you know, rather than right click, maybe it'd be easier to show you. If I left click, I'll click out and do it again. I've got all the series now. If I left click again, now I'm only looking at the pie slice I want. Now I'm going to right click and format that data point. When I do, let's start with point explosion. That's kind of what we're talking about today. Together versus separate. Let's, if we go out, say, oh, about 50% or so, it doesn't need to be exact, and I'll close. See how the pie, ex this slice of the pie, explodes out and it's separate. It's a little more obvious to see. The other thing you can do is you could, let's do somewhere in the neighborhood of 100% and show you what that looks like. That's close enough. And you can see, you could get it way out there if you wanted to, and I think it, it, you can send it way out here to the corner, depending on how far you want to explode, and it's simply a matter of changing how far apart or together this is. And it doesn't need to be exact, and if you really want it to be exact for some reason, you can always type over that and make it 100%. The other thing you can do is, like we did with those speedometers a few videos ago, you can rotate the pie. Let's just drag this out of the way a little bit. And then what we can do is we can rotate around there and kind of make it... Um, see, that's a little bit screwy because our title's right and right over it, but we could do something like that. And uh, now let's click close there. And so I can explode the pie out and I can rotate the pie so I can exactly focus on just what I want to see. And I could always put a text box out here or whatever I wanted. But I wanted to show you this trick with pie charts of exploding and rotating to highlight exactly what you're trying to focus on. Stay tuned next time. The other thing we can do is set up what they call a pie of pie chart. And I'll show you that pie chart trick next. Thanks for watching.